It's five days away. Dozens of local, state, and federal leaders will be chosen during that election. You can register to vote by going to the county elections website or just by going to the office in person. The deadline for the November election isn't until October. CBS 12 is your headquarters this election season. The latest news and information on Vote 2012 is always available at CBS12.com. You'll find stories on everything from the presidential race to local elections there. Just head to CBS12.com slash elections. Well, they are probably the last thing you would think could hurt your baby, but the government is putting out a warning tonight about baby monitors, how seven children have already died. Plus the startling thing that may help women prevent bone loss. And you are taking a live look right now at our storm track meteorologist, John Matthews, working hard on that seven day forecast. Yes. So was today's rain uh, just an anomaly or will we see more tomorrow? He's going to have the answer coming up. Stay with us. A consumer alert tonight for parents about the very product that is supposed to be keeping your baby safe. The Consumer Product Safety Commission is warning parents about the dangers of baby monitors and their cords. Seven children have died in the past 10 years after those cords got wrapped around their necks and strangled the babies. The CPSC tells parents to place cords at least three feet away from any part of the crib and never place a monitor inside of the crib. And another consumer alert tonight, a nationwide shortage of a headache medicine is forcing people to pay big bucks just to get some relief. The company that makes Excedrin migraine has stopped production for uh, the drug, at least for now, because of some manufacturing problems at their plant. But patients are getting desperate, paying up to $300 online for a bottle of Excedrin migraine. For patients that find that this is what relieves their headaches, they're willing to pay the extra amount of money to get the headache relief and to be able to function daily. Now, some people seem to be having success with taking the components of the medicine. That would be 500 milligrams of aspirin, 500 milligrams of acetaminophen, and 130 milligrams of caffeine, all of which are available over the counter, and it won't cost you $500. In tonight's Health Watch, women who want to prevent bone loss may want to raise their glass. A new study finds women who drink a moderate amount of alcohol can help lower their risk of osteoporosis. Researchers looked at postmenopausal women who regularly had one or two drinks a day and they found when the women stop drinking for two weeks their rates of bone turnover that's when bone is lost and replaced went up pretty surprising well a frightening flight for passengers landing in miami one of our friends actually hit the ceiling passengers thrown from their seats one child in the bathroom when it happened why the seatbelt light was not on at the time and why some county employees are working less and why it could actually cause you a big hassle i'm liz kidantis in the newsroom with what we're working on right now coming up next at six if you want a president who will make things better in the african-american community you are looking at him where Mitt Romney was booed and why a local Democratic official says black voters may stay home on Election Day. Join me for that story in just a few minutes at 6. Welcome back. A turbulent flight to Miami left passengers terrified, and now they are recounting those scary moments. It happened on board an American Airlines flight as the plane approached Miami yesterday. It hit a pocket of unexpected and intense turbulence. Five people were taken to the hospital for minor injuries. I never felt it, uh, something like that in the past. Um, basically, um, with the noise and, and the bumps, you just think that it's going down. An American Airlines spokesman said there was nothing on the radar showing turbulence was in the area. That's why the light, the fastened seatbelt light, was not on. Well, paying for traffic tickets or filing paperwork at the courthouse is now going to be more difficult due to budget cuts at the county clerk's offices statewide. In Palm Beach County, the clerk's office recently started operating on 10 fewer hours per week. That cut $2.5 million out of their budget. <laughs> but for the public, it means longer lines, longer waits on on the phone and possibly backlogs and paperwork. All right, so are we going to get more rain for the rest of the week? No, I, oh, for the rest of the week. Uh, let's see. Yes, <laughs> we, yes. But it is something. Not like Tough today. question. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm thinking about tonight, and I'm thinking about this picture here, Suzanne. This. What a difference. Yeah, everything is really clearing out. What a and an hour makes. Yeah, we're starting to look pretty good outside. Nothing on the radar. That's why I had to start to think about that. Any more rain on the radar? And I, 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 I've been checking all around to the west. 
west. Everything's moved to the west. The disturbance that was over us really thinned out. This is where all the rain was, by the way. The heaviest rain was right offshore, even though we had a lot of it, but mainly a half of an inch or less. So nothing upstream coming at us, and we're looking good. You're good to go for a real nice night tonight. Here's the story. Our temperatures will gradually diminish right down into the low 70s. Those are little Suzanne showers, just in case she was wondering if it's going to rain again for the rest of the week. We'll have a chance of a spotty shower out in the morning, but no big deal. What we did see was a great uh, amount of nice pictures from everybody. Thank you all for taking time to do that. George uh, Tangway uh, got this great picture of the lightning. This is Singer Island, the Blue Heron Bridge right there. Look at that lightning strike. George, you are fast on the camera, that's for sure. And also, uh, Binks Forest, I believe he was in Wellington area. He got a great picture of these clouds, these low-level clouds earlier today and looking pretty good outside there, Binks. Also, uh, Stephanie Oviad... Dienko, I believe her name is. I hate to get that wrong. Ovi, Ovi Dienko. Look at the lightning strike there. And anyway, Steffi did a couple pictures for you. We'll show you another one in a few minutes here, but real nice job there, everybody, and love those viewer pictures. And if you've got some, send them to us at cbs12.com. Morning shower likely tomorrow morning. Other than that, afternoon sunshine along our coastal sections. Inland, we'll see hot temperatures again because the sun will be back. Look for 91 to 94. The partly cloudy kind of a day coming our way tomorrow. And also around the the Treasure Coast. Hot temperatures will return 90 to 92 degrees with a light breeze off the ocean. Partly cloudy and always a chance of some scattered showers or an isolated storm. Look at how everything is all lifted away. This is that big blob that was over us. The bulk of that, that notice that red and orange, that was where the heavier showers and thunderstorms were late today. And they've all dried up and a few of those have moved out in the Bahamas. And all this dry air is building in for us just in time to give you a fine night. Anything in the tropics to be concerned about? Not right now. Now, got a couple of tropical waves way out there, but nothing threatening us. Our rain chances go lower and lower. About a 40% chance of some isolated showers around tomorrow. Other than that, about a 30% chance of rain into the weekend. So partly cloudy, isolated shower possible, warm and humid overnight tonight, tomorrow. A great looking day, partly sunny, morning showers in some areas. Not the rainy day we saw today. Wave heights about one to two feet, and we've got the sun rising at 635 tomorrow. And here's a look at your CBS 12 seven-day storm track forecast where the weekend is always in sight. Enjoy. Thanks, John. When someone loses a lot of weight, they typically have a big motivation behind them. That's right, but this man's reason is pretty special. The family tradition he hopes to carry on by dropping hundreds of pounds. Welcome back. One man has gone to great lengths to get in shape. He's lost more than 200 pounds, but he didn't just do it for himself. He also wanted to keep his family tradition alive. A strong and steady pace, Jay Roundtree is now on track to follow in his family's footsteps. Always in my head, going into the army was an option because my mom was in the army, my dad was in the army, my sister was in the army. A strong legacy of service his mother couldn't be more proud of. I, I never would have imagined that he would do that. But when, when Jay sets his mind to something, don't tell him he can't do it because he'll prove you wrong. In fact, Jay has proven a lot of people wrong over the last year and a half, losing more than 200 pounds with good old-fashioned diet and exercise. At my biggest weight, I was probably 400, 405. And what are you now? Uh, 205. <laughs> It hasn't always been easy. There's going to be days that you're just like, I don't want to do it. But Jay says it was time to make a change, a change his mother believes may have saved his life. His, his dad passed away when he was real little, and um, his dad died of a massive heart attack. And now Jay is determined to inspire the lives of those around him. If I impact somebody with my story, then, then I did my job. Good yeah, flex. Yeah. Good flex. Oh wow, that's a lot of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> when I see him in his military uniform, that's that's gonna tear me up. That's I mean, I will be the happiest mother in the world. Now, Jay says he started his home workouts with exercise DVDs, but has added jogging, basketball, and swimming to his routine. His next goal, of course, is to become a member of the U.S. Army. Liz, Eric. Wow. That's a great story. Thank you, Suzanne. Coming up next at 6, school letter grades are out, and dozens of local schools saw their grades drop tonight. Why some local parents aren't too worried about the drop, but the one thing they are worried about. It's not business as usual at one local city hall, yet another distraction. Who the 
may or may have been trying to get dirt on, and we've got the controversial emails to prove it. The damage is already being done, so at that point you need to catch it. The new kind of tropical termite thriving in our area, possibly in your home right now. Where it came from, why it's spreading, and why it's even more destructive than regular termites. That's all new next on CBS 12 News at 6.